Yo! We're going live right now. So I will do the usual. Which is tweet the stream out and then upload the little notification video. Which we are doing right now. We just copy this. Copy, copy. Copy, copy. Make it public. Libraries, videos, not uploaded. That one. Paste. Oh. Hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying this Nottingham Forest save. I definitely am, so fingers crossed that uh, it's as popular with you guys as it is with me, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Yo, hey guys. How's it going? Ah, it's uploaded. Good. Probably take about 10 years to actually send the sub boxes, but it's up, and that's all that matters right now. <laughs> Me. Did I tweet the stream out, or did I not? I don't think I actually got around to it, did I? I did this, the video first. I'll do a quick check. No, I didn't. Football Manager 2015. PPL promotion. Oh, helps if you spell promotion with an N, not an M. Promotion hunt. It just tells you the commands thing. Just tells you what the commands are for the channel or for the stream. But it's only um, it's only mods that can uh, that can give the commands in the chat. Play FIFA at the weekends, bro. Liam Singleton. So I'll be playing FIFA tomorrow, but career mode. I haven't got any coins, so I can't open a St. Patrick's packs. I had like 150k left, and I got nothing in those packs, so I won't be opening any more because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Silly mobile. Hopefully, it's uh, the you know the Twitch mobile and tablet apps have actually been a little bit more stable today than they have been recently. A lot of people haven't been able to actually um, you know view on mobile. They've been loading up the stream and it's just a blank screen. It won't actually load properly, which sucks to be completely honest. Because obviously we want as many viewers as possible. My day's been good, thank you, Liam. How's yours been? You always seem to miss, do you? Well, they all they all go up on YouTube anyway, so at least you've been able to, or you will be able to uh, catch up with anything you have missed. But right now, we are on an okay run of form. A couple of defeats in yesterday's stream, but we did all right. We are still check the league table, top of the league by 9 points from uh, Cardiff and we're actually 12 points inside the pro automatic promotion spots so 
Hopefully we can keep that going today, although the first game is away from home against uh, Nottingham Forest's biggest rivals, Derby. So be really interesting, really interesting game that hopefully we can get a good result from. I've unfortunately lost our top goalscorer, Britta Sambolonga, to the African Cup of Nations, I think. So we're really going to need everybody else to step up to the plate to actually get the, uh, the goals going into the back of the net. And hopefully we can continue our good run of form, although we have... Derby next, and then Arsenal away in the FA Cup, so <laughs> not the easiest stretch of fixtures. <clears throat> Can I hire, St <laughs> or is Stan Collinmore available for hire? He is, he's a coach. Well, uh, what's Steve McLaren saying? I try and approach every game the same way. Oh, fair enough. Assertively. Uh I'm not going to discuss tactics in the um, in the press conference that would be silly how much are you affected by the pressure uh, treat it it's held back when talking about you in the week do you think he has the edge uh, do you think he has the edge in any mind games not really there aren't any mind games going on and it's not really ge a generic answer to this one. They all seem to be kind of confrontational. What does Steve McLaren think of me? Has a fairly poor opinion of you. All oh, right, fine, screw him. But we'll say no comment for now. I don't want to get any. I don't want to get drawn into any stupid. Um, I don't want to get drawn into any stupid. You know, arguments in the media. There's no point. I focus solely on the football. Yeah, we've actually been able to fully catch up now on YouTube. And tonight's stream will go live tomorrow morning. So we are fully caught up with FM. And obviously tomorrow's stream will be FIFA. And then that will go up on the channel as well. Because we're starting the new series. Provided I can... Uh, Get the thumbnail made, obviously. Uh, Lehigh, Wilson, Mancien, Danny Fox. Antonio is injured, so we will go with Chris Burke out wide, even though he's not in the best of form. Uh, Andy Reid is a little bit tired, so we'll go with Henry Lansbury and David Vaughan. On the left, certain Mr. Luke Garbutt. Oh, sucks. It's really annoying and frustrating that British Sambalonga is on international duty until the 9th of February so oh what are you doing there we go going Matty Fryer and Dexter Blackstock and actually I'll put Fryer up top and then we'll just fill the bench as per usual Chris Cohen is a very handy player so he will go on the bench uh, Bastian Schultz I want to get McLaughlin or um, Jamie Peterson on as well. I'll go with McLaughlin. And actually no, you know what? I am gonna go with Jamie Peterson. Jamie Patterson, sorry, instead. Right. Legu Norwich Norwich Derby. This could be a tough one. I really don't want to lose this. A draw would be okay away from home. I could probably stomach a draw. Just about. But uh, Lee Grant is on a fairly lengthy run without conceding a goal. Uh, can your team end that run today? I'm confident we can find a way through. You've got Darren Bent up top. I bet he's been banging in the goals. Oh, only six. Would have thought he'd have been scoring more than that. Um, I'm going to calmly say... Uh, let's give the fans the performance they're expecting here. Because it is all about the fans on derby days, isn't it, really? Where it, you have to be kind of fan-orientated for games like this. Do, 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 do. Uh, we seem to be okay so far. On top stat wise, at least. Uh, Fuji is an ultimate team YouTuber, James Crane. 
We try to keep the online career mode to, you know, career mode guys. Or people that are m majorly career mode guys. Fuji's a good friend though, so maybe I'll ask him to see if he wants to, if we do do a second season, if he might want to be involved. Obviously there's, there's only a... F we can't have so many people, loads of people involved immediately because it's just a brand new series. We wanted to keep it kind of on a smaller scale. Please don't, Tynes! Otherwise, you know, just to keep it simple. Because if it gets too complicated, then it could, you know, be a bit overwhelming for the viewers. So we wanted to just keep it a little bit smaller and more simple this time around. Just to kind of introduce the series. And then maybe if we do, if it goes down well, then maybe we'll do, um, you know, more series. We did ask MGH and Doc Landers Ipswich Town 98, but uh, both of them were unfortunately too busy. Obviously, when you have uh, channels the same size, or channels the size that they do, I expect to see much better from you in the second half, please, boys. When you have channels that size that are that busy, then it's hard to, uh, to you know, to find the, the time to uh, tune into series like this. But hopefully, if it goes down well, we uh, might be able to get them involved in a second series. Come on, let's just get this clear. Let's get it in the box, really. Not keen on them to counter-attack it on me like this, especially when they've got all of these men in the middle to aim at. We have got numbers back now, but they're still carving us apart. Really nice move. Oh, Tom Ince. Not keen, not keen, not keen. This is not the way we, I wanted to play this game. Oh, it's not the way that I wanted this game to go. Blackstock's having a nightmare. We miss Britta Sombolonga, man. Really miss Britta Sombolonga. I'll bring Jamie Patterson off for Chris Burke. And I could do with Antonio as well. I could put him up top with his pace, but he's injured. You're going to go watch uh, Bristol City tomorrow, Ian Liam. That's good. Always nice to see people support their local sides. They'd never give me Tom Ince, unfortunately. I haven't got. Um, we're under a transfer embargo at the minute, anyway. Sadly, so uh, even if we wanted to sign someone, and there were all penalty, there were a few players that I wanted to sign, but we're in a transfer embargo right now, so unfortunately, we can't sign anyone. But Matty Fry has been solid from the spot for us so far this season. If he can get this one into the back of the net as well, we stand a chance of getting back in this. Yes, right. Yeah, he's a lifeline. 20 minutes to go to try and get ourselves an equaliser. Win that please, Jamie. Come on. We've been playing such good football recently. It'd be a shame to have that come to an end at a place like Pride Park. That's a good cross, though. Matty Fright's underneath it. We're back on level terms. Two goals in two minutes. Can we, can we keep this going? Can we get a win, maybe? I don't want to get too carried away, but... This is a comeback and a half. We've got another highlight immediately from kickoff. Please don't tell me they're going to go and go ahead again immediately. Wow, I think they are. I can't believe it. Tom Ince hat-trick. You do all that hard work to get yourself back in it. And then we can see it immediately from kickoff. What is even the point? Oh, FML, boys, FML. That's a Tom Ince hat-trick. Nah, surely not. Tom Ince has scored four. Just nobody picks him up. Or nobody follows the run. Question of offside there, actually. But great technique on the finish. Ah. That's not exactly what I had in mind, to be honest. 
It's not as if things get easier in it, it's because we've got Arsenal away. Well, that wasn't the most positive way to start to to, uh, to start the stream, was it? Shows how much we miss British Samba longer, doesn't it? Could I tell them I'm not happy with that? So if actually I'm going to be aggressive. Passionately. We were really poor and have to improve in the future. That was really bad for us. I can understand why the fans were devastated. I'm devastated as well. Uh, just how damaging was it for you? Yeah. Would you agree Tomitz was... There's not really much we could do about Tom Ince in that game, was there? He was just too good. At least we've got a full week before the Arsenal game to try and regain our composure. Uh, the team that won the vote for the Twitch uh, career mode is PSV. So we will be doing a career mode, or at least starting a career mode, in the Eredivisie uh, tomorrow on FIFA 15 on stream. Obviously that series is going to be one where I can move from team to team within that save. So whether we'll actually stay at PSV for more than a couple of seasons, I'm not entirely too sure. Uh, leaving to get first team football, yeah. I just haven't been able to give it to him. Everybody else has been in such good form. I don't know whether to do because I could genuinely just play him. I could say, you know, you're right, I haven't given you a fair shot. You can expect to be in the first team. Oh, in fact, I'm going to say that. What's Chris Cowan's clients? Oh, yeah, he waited. He wanted to move on, didn't he? QPR were interested in him and he wanted to go to QPR, but no offer has materialised so uh, I'm not I'm not going to go out of my way to sell him obviously he's one of my best players oh yeah I forgot it was comic relief tonight Bear with me, I just need to quickly... Uh, ah, that's not what I wanted to do. I just need to reply to this email, bear with me.
Right, we just you have to bear with me. Sorry guys, this is uh, kind of important stuff, so I, need to ju I needed to just reply to that email. I can only apologise, let's get underway again. Oh, I've got nine emails. Uh, Forest Archer oh, Wars coming back, that's fine. Team of the Week announced, nobody from us will be involved in the Team of the Week, I wouldn't have thought, and they're not, considering we annihilated ourselves. Uh, still a couple of weeks before Antonio's back, which sucks. Henderson wants to extend your run, so that's fine, it's not a problem. Yep, that's fine. We'll continue that. Hey, FIFA Craft, thanks for joining the stream. Oh, Fulham away as well soon. Three away games in a row. That's not exactly what we need right now. Uh, Lamella quickest off the mark. Ah, oh, 33 seconds. I wasn't that quick. We've scored quicker than that this season. Ah, Arsenal fans are expecting a comfortable win, are they? Um, hmm. Most prepared to give us a chance. We can win, but we've got to play our, our best and then hope for a bit of luck. Yeah, the side has so far beaten one team in the competition, but now face a tougher challenge. Are you confident? Uh, might as well be realistic, and you know it is going to be tough for us. Che derby have got Chelsea as well, so both of us coming on the back of that derby with uh, on the back of that derby, big FA Cup games. They want to extend Aerosmith Sloan. That's not a problem. Uh, hopefully, the teams just below us in the league won't get uh, decent results in this and they'll actually drop points because that's kind of what we need right now what I actually need right now is Britta Sumba longer back to be honest I'm tempted to go 4-2-3-1 for this I think I might just to be slightly more defensive and then drop these two players here like, like this because you, you have to for games of this magnitude, you have to, you know, adjust accordingly. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I still will play my best side. I know Jack. Oh, I said I'd start Jack Hobbs, but can I, in a game this size? You know, I will. Go on then. If he wants to prove to me that he can hold his own in this team, then now is the chance to prove that point. Uh, actually, I'm going to put Chris Cohen at left back. And then a holding mid will go with David Vaughan and Bastian Schultz. And in the midfield, I really want Britta Samba longer back. Is Andy is Andy Reid back yet? He is. Good. And on the left will go with Luke Garber. And up top, I'll go with Matty Fryer. I have to. He's my top goal scorer apart from Britt. Even though half of those goals have come from the penalty spot. Now this can either, this can go one of two ways. This is either going to be a fantastic game to watch and a fantastic game for us as a club, or we'll get smashed. <laughs> or we'll get smashed. 
Um, let's go with Jamie Patterson and Stephen McLaughlin. Because McLaughlin can play anywhere in midfield. I can always put Jamie Patterson up top as well because he's got decent finish and decent pace. <sighs> How this came to be. Doing something. Ah, right. Uh, they are eight to one on to win this. Change of tactic might be on the cards. Um, yep. How much of Per Mertesacker's absence? Um, just focused. <sighs> I'm so nervous about this game. I'm so nervous. Nobody expects us to get a win up there, so enjoy playing without any pressure on you. And we'll play on standard, yep. This could... Ugh, I don't know how this is going to go. Well, Gabriel's just scored his first goal for Arsenal. Bear with me. so much stuff going on right now. <laughs> oh. We've been really unlucky. Reach all the players that they tell them that they're doing fine. Just want to... We've not been completely outplayed, but they're holding on to the ball so well. Merlin's headed that away. If we can get this back into the box, we might be in with a shout of getting an equaliser. Lehi with a cross. Oh, he had the chance to just sweep that home. Oh, that was so close. Please don't. 
What a challenge from Luke Garber. What a challenge from Schneidlin. Unfortunately, it just doesn't look like it's going to be our day, does it? <sighs> no, let's put Chris Burke on there and we'll put Jamie Patterson up top. Uh, it's the FA Cup, Lucas, the fourth round. We have already achieved what the board wanted us to achieve as a minimum for this competition, which was... Oh, look, Abu Dhabi injured. There's a surprise. Definitely didn't see that coming. Oh. Bless him. Game over. Game over. <laughs> Success. Well, we we were never really going to get a good result here, but. I'm sure Arsenal have battered Arsenal have battered Premier League sides. Arsenal have battered Premier League sides by more than that this season, so we gave a fair account of ourselves. Missing a couple of our most important players as well. Can't be too harsh on the squad for that. Especially when Chelsea go and batter Derby 5 0. Cambridge win, that's good. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to focus elsewhere. It's always the more diplomatic answer to give in that particular situation. Ah, everybody's confidence has been knocked by that, though. We may need to... Ah, the sales request termination loan. I've not been getting enough games in this loan spell, and I hope you'll consider to terminate my loan. He hasn't been getting many games, and he's right. But uh, can I speak to him? Hmm. Should we terminate his loan? We haven't we haven't been playing him, but it's only because Kelvin Wilson and Michael Mansier have been so incredible. But we've got Jack Hobbs as well. It would probably be fair to Jamal to let him go. I'll wait and see what your reaction is in the chat. No, you don't think I should terminate the loan? Because of the transfer embargo, just in case. I can understand that. It would be, it would be good if I could actually, you know, talk with him. Rather than, you know, talk to him about why he's not been getting first team football. We'll leave it for now then. And we'll play him, yeah. We'll play him. We've got Fulham next. Where are Fulham? 
Fulham are fourth. Oh, God. So many big games in a row. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, here we go, now we actually get the chance to uh, discuss with him. Uh, I'm planning on giving you a chance in the first team. Okay then, I hope you keep your word. Good. I will do. We'll give him and Jack Hobbs. Transfer deadline only one week. We're under transfer embargo. There's nothing we can do, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to have to stay as things are. Uh, I do watch Formula One. Yes, I did watch FP1. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to watch any of the others. Ah, Andy Reid. These hip injuries are always absolute killers. I'm going to send him to the specialist, but there's never. It just is from a hip injury and you never know what the hip injury is which sucks team of the week announced, yeah that's fine um, assertive, I hope Charlton stick with him uh, certain place to play and impress we're currently in fourth uh, we're confident but Everton denied by late goal. GG Chels. Oh dear. Uh, what position am I in the championship? We are, as you can see here, first right now. Top of the league. I'm beating Man United set a new... Yeah, you can extend that loan. Man United has set a new record for unbeaten games. Yes, we are... If I go on to Skybit Championship, as you can see there, we are top. Eight points clear with a game in hand. This game against Fulham could be huge. They could go one point behind Cardiff in second if they beat us. And it is away. And we have lost the last two games. But I'm going to show confidence in the players that have got me where we are right now. Apart from, obviously, I want to start Jack Hobbs and... Uh, Jamal LaSalle, because I said I would, and I'm not going to back down from a promise. 
I really need my uh, Mikel Anto Antonio back, man. I want to put Henry Lansbury out wide on the right because he has done a good job there so far this season. Uh, we'll put Cohen and David Vaughan in the middle. Uh, no. I clicked on David Vaughan, I think you'll find. Thank you all. Uh, and then Luke Garbutt's still got 95% fitness, so that's good. <sighs> Dexter and Matty Fry. Fry did well against uh, Derby. It's just, unfortunately, the defence let him down, so we'll put Todd Kane in. Todd, Todd Kane should probably get some more football as well, actually. So we'll put him in. Otherwise, we'll get him complaining. I always like to rely on my own players, but sometimes you have to give the you know the lone players a fair crack of the whip because that's why they're here, isn't it, to get first team football? I'd feel terrible if uh, lack of football from me to them was the reason why they uh, were unable to uh, continue their careers at a higher level. Go with the channel, Becky. Yeah. One of my favourites. Play a very narrow formation. Go be calm, but tell them that I expect better. We'll see how it goes. Over 200 viewers right now, though, which is fantastic. Thank you all for coming along. The uh, numbers have dwindled slightly recently, but hopefully. Over the next few weeks, they'll go back up again. Uh, no, Forrest actually, before the save starts, on the update, Forrest actually get punished by for not complying to uh, FIFA Fair Play rules. Because they uh, they overspent in the previous season, so unfortunately... Oh, Matty Fry, what a finish on the volley Mers. Only that one shot so far. It was a decent goal, wasn't it, John Dropper? Oh, <laughs> Tom Dom, don't ignore that Matty K1471 guy. He says it's his birthday every single stream. He's had about 17 birthdays in the past three weeks. So uh, try not to, uh, to bite to his trolling. That's a good ball. Corley Woodrow, that's a finish. Question of offside. It doesn't look like anything's going to be given. We're back on level terms. Back on level terms at 1 1. Please don't. Oh, he's missed, thank you. Uh, Henry Lansbury always seems to be looking fired up. He's always... Right, how have you performed so far? Keep it up. Go and get me a win. Come on, boys, this is an important game. Come on, Matty. This is your chance again to score from the spot. Immediately after the break. That's what we needed.
Dee -dee 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 -dee. Not too sure we deserve this lead, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes, that's a good clearance, we needed that. Come on, blow your whistle, ref. Blow your whistle, ref. Oh, three points. We really needed that. We're now 11 points clear at the top. That was a vital win. That could be the one that secures this promotion, even this early on in the season. Simmons believes referee made the right call. Well, at least despite the fact that the fans were uh, frustrated. Funnel in penalty controversy. That can revise me in. Let me guess, you're going to tell me to... Yep. <laughs> Always tells me to tell uh, Britt Summer longer to turn his side, but he's playing so well. Uh, I don't want to tell him to do anything with his game. I just want him to continue to play. And yes, he can go back out on loan. Millwall next. At least it's a home game. We have a home game, so it's fine. It'd be nice to actually play in front of our own fans for a change. No oh god. As soon as as soon as Antonio comes back, Chris Burke gets injured. We haven't had much luck this season with injuries. Or at least recently with injuries. And I would have really strengthened the squad if I could have. But we've, obviously we've got the transfer embargo. So Bear with me. Right, Fulham, 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 Fulham. Not Fulham, Millwall. We've done Fulham, we beat Fulham. I'm all over the place. Oh, it's all going off. It is all going off right now. Mm -hmm. right, Carl Darlow, Eric Lee High, Todd Kane's a little bit tired. We'll go with Kelvin Wilson and uh, Michael Manson because unfortunately the other two are quite jaded. And Danny Fox can start at left back. 
Henry's going to be quite tired, isn't he? Yes. So we'll go with Jamie Patterson. Um, I'll go with Chris Cohen and David Vaughan again. And Luke's, Luke would be okay to play it on the left. And we will continue with Dexter Blackstock and Matty Fryer. DeVries, Todd Kane. I'll go with Jack Hobbs. Because he's my player rather than the lone player. Ashton Schultz. I wanted to sell Robert Tesh, but obviously I can't because of the transfer embargo. Uh, ben Osborne. Antonio's on 86. I will put him on the bench just in case. Maybe we can bring him off and give him a little bit of a run out if things go our way in this game. I don't want to risk him though if I if we get into a, a dodgy situation. Are they missing Dan Harding? He was actually our player. Dan Harding. Where are we all in the league? 16th. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to calmly tell them. Just pick off where you left off last time. You should be okay. Really dominant in the opening few stages. Although none of our shots have been on target as of yet. Hey Burn69, thanks for joining buddy. Hopefully you can be the lucky child we need to get ourselves a goal here to go in front against Millwall. No. Fuck. One nil down on the very stroke of half time. to assertively say, show me something else in the second half. Maybe I'm going to th think about switch to it, switching to attacking soon. Get up a lot of bookings. Makes me slightly nervous about getting a man sent off. That was a terrible pass, Jamie. What are you even doing? Thank you, Eric. He's going to pass it back to keeper, and then it. Oh. I was waiting for him to pass it back to keeps and for them to get in between, but we're giving it straight back to him. Just get a tackle in. Thank you, Man CM. Dexter Blackstock's in behind. Good challenge. Patterson, get up back on your feet, please, Dexter. There's the cross, Matty Fryer. Oh, it's over the top, but Luke Garbutt's there. Luke and. Yes! He's grinding out results when we're not playing well like this that he's going to get us promoted. We need to go and get a, w a winner now. And as soon as, as soon as Asamba Longa comes back, because we've been flying so far this year. Past three or four weeks in game, we've had a bit of a dodgy spell, but we've got to overcome things like that. Which is what we'll try and do. Not in the hour mark. Oh, boys. Brits, he's not injured at the minute, bro. He's at the African Cup of Nations. So he's not back until the 2nd of February, which is next in-game week, I think. Oh my days, how have they not scored? They've hit both posts there. David Vaughan is struggs, so we'll take him off. And we'll swap those around so that Chris Cohen is the more defensive of the two midfielders. They've brought on Danny Shitu for Fitzhall. 
Please. Please. We'll go to attacking. Yes, Chris. Yes, Chris. Yes, Dexter. Yeah. Oh, we hit the bar. Fuck. I was celebrating already. I celebrated too early. Hit the bar. I thought that was in. Oh, I really thought that was in. That one is. Yes, no covers. Oh, Jamie. Oh. Watch that run. I told you to watch that run. Right, I'm gonna make substitution. Oh, I'm so nervous about all these yellow cards. I'll put Jack Hobbs on. Dexter four. McLaughlin can't really play up top, but I'll put him there and then we'll Jamie Patterson can play up top, so we'll do that. Yeah, man, Luke Garbutt's incredible. He's been so good for us in this loan spell, like, genuinely really impressive. Oh, that is a gorgeous goal. Who was the man that whipped in the cross? You guessed it. Right was incensed there, waving his arms about. I see that through ball coming though. Oh wow, they've tackled each other. Oh my god, how have they not scored? That's twice we've gotten away with a chance like that. Let's switch from attacking to control. This should be three points. We could do with a just a week's break for everyone to regain fitness. That's the three points, that's what we needed. That's what we needed. Calmly. Not that lads. Yes, Cambridge won away at Luton as well, that's brilliant. Sensational turning right, don't make some changes. Sean Williams was brilliant today, wasn't he? Uh, don't want to comment. After today's fine performance, I would love to have him on a permanent basis. Luke was absolutely outstanding. Garber again, cream of the crop, one goal, two assists. Honestly, let's have a quick look at his stats. Where are we? Luke Garber. He has got 10 assists and two goals in 25 games. And he's 21. Look at those stats, man. So good. Can we see what's recently gone up? Loads of stuff. Acceleration's gone up, long throws, passing, which is crucial for the position that he plays in as well. He's so good. Luke Garbutt is so good. And we get a week's break as well. British Umbalonga should be coming back soon. In before British Umbalonga comes back with a broken leg or something stupid like that. Tom Ince, one player of the month. No real surprise. 
especially after that goal, goal against, or game against us. Matty Fryer came third though, fair play to him. And Luke Garbutt came third as well in the young ones. We came third in the manager of the month, so we weren't involved in the first one. We won the second and the third. We weren't involved in the fourth, then we won the fifth, and we come third in the sixth. We're having quite a good season. Quite a good season indeed. Twenty van. Board confidence update. They're pleased with your management of the team. Let's get a report on Brighton. Another away game, though. Give me Brit back. That's all I want. Just want Brit back. We want our Britty back, we want our Britty back. Come on, come on. <laughs> Just going through transfer deadline day, which is why it's taking its time. We're in a real, oh, my keyboard, so actually rest. We're in a real dodgy spell right now, but we came out with a good win there against Brighton after getting a good win against Fulham as well. Two really important results for us. Chani's got the fighting talk out. After this stream, guys, me and Chani are going to be playing our first game for the online career mode. Score predictions. There we go. In the chat, give us some score predictions for Crystal Palace versus Sampdoria, Chesnoy Gaming versus Chani Sports. How do you think it's going to go? I'm nervous, to be honest. I'm not very good at FIFA Online. Transfer roundup. Elliot Bennett went from Norwich to QPR. We were involved. We managed to sell Velvite before. Um, we weren't allowed to buy anyone, were we? So loan report. Everybody else. Everybody's doing quite well. Abdoon's doing all right. Whoa! Four goals in six games. Go on, son. He's loving life on loan at Harrogate. Chess 15, Chani nil. 3 2 chess, 3 nil, Chani, 2 1 chess, 3 3. 8 4, God. Yeah, we both barely play online, so. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> In before nil nil. It's either going to be nil nil or 7 all. Come on, boys, I need you back from injury. I got <gasps> Brits back. Yes. Do do do. Brit a somber longer. Do do do. Brit a somber longer. Right. Come on, Brit. You got to do me proud now. Now is the time to shine, my man. Now is the time to shine. Uh. 
Uh, Antonio's back as well. Sick. Henry Lansbury, David Vaughan. Actually, I'm going to go with Chris. Oh, I'm going to go with Chris Cohen. Lugaba, obviously. And then Matty Fryer. And a big boy Brit up top. And a big boy Brit up top. And the. Oh, no. And a big boy Brit up top. Uh, David Vaughan. No, not Tesh. I clicked on Vaughan, I think you'll find. Thank you. Jamie Patterson. Dexter Blackstock. And Stephen McLaughlin. Away from home against Brighton. Do, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> Lol. Sorry, Rick. Tesha, not Tesh. My bad. Just calmly tell them we're favourites here, so go and give the fans something to cheer about. Come on, boys. Another three points, please. <laughs> Yeah, I could do with an upgrade as well, to be honest. Palace team are okay. The only thing is, I've downloaded the latest squad updates, obviously, and then tried to customise, but it's still saying that uh, Yannick Balassi is um, 76 rated, which sucks. I mean, 74 rated, not 76 rated, which is what sucks. But never mind. You can always just like upgrade from 76 because we know that he's 76 rated that's fine that's not a problem well nil nil at half time assertively keep going your way you have been and the result will come oh boys Have there been any developments at Salva Liam? I haven't seen anything since last night. So obviously, nobody drove for them yesterday. At least an FP1! Oh, what a save! Nobody drove an FP1. I didn't see whether anybody drove an FP2. I haven't heard anything either because I've just been too busy to pay attention, to be honest. Yeah, we're top of the table, I am, Rooster. We're top of the league. We're about to go 1 0 down, though. Maybe not. That was a foul there. Luke Garbot just clearly tripped him. And Brits threw one on one. Question of offside. I think given just yet. What a save by David Stockdale. Oh, boys, let's get goal from the corner, please. Or not. Never mind. Yeah, I love Formula 1, Rick. I'd probably say I love Formula 1 more than I love football, which is a bold statement to make, but it's probably true. Well recovered, Henry. I think Antonio's offside there. It doesn't matter because he missed anyway. Boys, we're dominating. We just need a goal. We just need a goal. Danny Fox is getting a little bit tired. Can put Steve McLaughlin on, and then obviously swap him with Luke Garber, so Luke can play left back. Put McLaughlin on left mid. <laughs> I don't really have a favourite driver. I like Nico Hulkenberg. I like Lewis, obviously. Danny Ricks. Quality, actually. Danny Ricks, quality. We can do... Nah, don't score last minute winner. Oh, free kick. It's going to be game over then. A nil-nil draw by the looks of things. Yep. Away from home against Brighton. I'm just going to tell him they run lucky there. You run lucky today.
F1 equals pace four. Okay, we've got three 0 victory, which is good. David James. Cambridge have signed David James at 44. Lol. At 44. Fucking hell. That's crazy. Uh, a little jaded and can do with the rest. But he's playing so well. I don't want to tell him I want to arrest him because that will piss him off. Bogdaregis, well, it's a team and a half. Oh, and Lassell can play right back. Jack Hobbs is just a centre back, isn't he? Yeah. So is Kelvin and so is Mancini. You know, Mancini can play more positions. So quick, man. See, look, 15 pace, 17 acceleration. It's rock solid. Ba da ba ba da ba. Ba da ba 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 Peaks at 44, retires at 72. <laughs> How Wednesday doing their eleventh? <laughs> We're going to have been disappointing. Of course, they've got a chance. It's not going to be easy. We're going to a decent side. Huh, <laughs> appreciate it's backing from Classy Chesnoy Gaming. Apparently I'm classy. I wasn't aware. Don't tell me we're gonna get gonna get Izzy Brown on the day of the game. They are, you know. If he scores against me, I'll be livid. We have Todd Kane, Todd Kane, a game, and Lasell. Yeah, go on then, Danny. Go on then, Danny. Put Henry out wide again. If he can do it. And we will go with Vaughan and Cohen again in the middle. We miss Andy Reid, man. He's such a good creative spark for us. I should could play... No, we'll play Brit. I'll give him a rest in the next game. We'll put Antonio on there. And Dexter and Jamie Peterson. Jamie Patterson. I keep calling him Peterson, don't know why. Come on, boys. Assertively, if you play your game, you'll win. You're very capable of that, which they are. <laughs> Appreciate that, Potts Boy. Any new viewers are welcome, viewers. Very even game so far. Uh 
has been a drab match so far. Just going to calmly tell them. Uh, game is set. Just go and win it. That's all I want you to do is just go and win me the game. The ground's full. Everybody's jumping up and down and partying and stuff. Just need a goal. By a goal, I mean a goal for us, not them, obviously. If you don't mind, Wigan, can have the ball back. Thanks. Oh. Well, that wasn't the best of passes. Oh, that's a nice ball. Go on, mate, slot it through. Oh, he's gone back to David Vaughan now. Oh. We need to get Asamba longer off the mark again. I need Britt to get another goal. Yeah, I timed him out. <laughs> oh, Nazar and Eriksson drove for them in FP2. They could be, they could be done for contempt. Let's get a winner. I think he was offside. He was. He's had the ball in the back of the net though, so that's a start. Danny Fox has been just shattered consistently at the minute. Might take Fryer off and put Antonio on sooner rather than later. I'm delighted Manor are back, Rick. Um, Manor Marussia, whatever you want to call him. Nah, don't. Call, call. Never mind, call a kick. Yeah, don't forget to hit that follow button if you haven't already. I haven't got a PSN, Keegan. I'm Xbox One, buddy. Come on. Break, 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 break. Come on, Henry. Brit's in the middle, he's waiting for it. Oh, God. Such a wasted opportunity. Antonio's coming on up top for me, right? Come on, bro, come with me the game. Why shoot? You're a fucking defender. I just want to sneak a 1-0 win. We can't start drawing games that we should be winning. Otherwise our lead at the top will start to deteriorate. It looks like we're going to be drawing this one as well. Two 0-0 draws in a row aren't exactly what you need when you're top of the table. Yep, that's what it's going to be. Two back-to-back 0-0 draws. I couldn't even turn on subscriber only chat if I wanted to, Summer Games. I'm not partnered yet. I have applied for partnership, but I've not heard anything back. So his match finishes 100%. Blackpool away next. I'll rest him against Blackpool. Where 
Saving is it okay? Okay, Bramilla. Uh, I'm confident, but not too confident. I had some emails there as well to look at, didn't I? Let's have a look. Never mind. We won the lot. Oh, yeah, shit. I'll see, actually. What do you reckon? Now see Wilson Kane Garber at left back, Osborne at left mid. That's what they're saying. Alright. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. I might get, drop David Braun to the bench though. Henry uh Henry Lansbury in and then put Cohen there. We'll try that. We'll see how this goes. Blackpool are twenty first, so I'm gonna tell I'm actually gonna tell them I want a win. Expecting you to win today. That's a terrible cross. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, we'll take that. 1 0 up after three minutes. It's a good cross by Ben Osborne. He's got 15 crossing. I, I don't know. I prefer to play him in the middle, but. My uh, my assistant recommends playing him out wide, and that was a great ball across. Mikael Antonio makes it one nil. Oh God, it's two nil. Was he onside? He was. We're 2 0 up. I didn't think he was on side. Must have just been must have been close, yeah, it was close, but I think this middle centre back played him on. 2 0 after eight minutes. Um, this will probably be the last game that I play. Uh, I might do one more. James Crane. Yeah, we'll do one more game after this. Yeah, two goals in eight minutes is more like top of the table. Rather than nil-nil. Oh yeah, you're a Blackpool fan, aren't you, Sanderson? Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, mate. We're winning so far. Good call, me say. As you know, I'm going to assertively say, very pleased with your performance. Keep it up.
There's the cross. There's the cross. There's Matty Fryer. There's the goal. That's three. Unfortunately for Blackpool, they just aren't good enough right now. Good finish from Matty Fryer, though. Sorry, Sanderson. Just making it a little bit worse, aren't we, really? Working through the Delfonso. No, we've got it clear. Oh, no, we have finally got it clear. There's some nice football here. Deserves a goal. And they hit the post. It's the luck you get when you're down the bottom, I'm afraid. Henry Lansbury keeps getting tired each game, doesn't he? Could maybe put Michael Mancy in at sent mid, bring on Jack Hobbs at centre back. I could just put Ben Osborne inside, couldn't I? Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Um. Take off Henry Lansbury for Jamie Patterson and then just put Jamie Patterson on the wing and Ben Osborne in the middle. Simples. I like having players that can play in multiple positions. It's, it comes in handy throughout the season. Oh, that was close. That's a good block. That's a great block, otherwise that was four. A solid clearance. Oh, another good block, but not enough. That's four. Sorry, Sanderson. <laughs> oh, the Twitch career mode starting tomorrow will be starting as PSV. And then the new career mode for YouTube, starting next Tuesday, will be Inter Milan. Make another change. Think of Antonio for Jack Hobbs. All right, we're going to have to do some working around here. So Jack Hobbs can go there. And then uh, Mancien can play right back, and Todd Kane can play left back. And uh, I put someone in the midfield. I worked it somehow, didn't I? Yeah, Jamie Patterson, there we go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You want one. Came close there. You say you want one, well we might be getting five if this attack goes the way it might. No? You might be getting your one. You might not be getting your one if Jack Hobbs has cut that out. That's born to Luke Garber. It's a good challenge, question of whether that should have been a free kick. Nothing good with Ranger, Mendy. We've not played that bad, Blackpool. Just, we've been better, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. There's your one. 86th minute. Niall Ranger. <laughs> it just said at the bottom, Blackpool are red hot. I don't think so. 
Full one down. Black hole of red hot. If you get a second, you might be red hot. That was a good challenge. Here comes Dexter. This may even just be the hi a highlight that ends with the final whistle. Which it is. <laughs> there we go. 4 1 win, I'm afraid. Sorry, Sanderson. Certainly very pleased with the result and your performance. GG boys. Wolves. Cardiff have dropped out of second and down to third. Wolves are now the team that are behind us. 12 points the gap with 15 or 16 games to go. Press from beat and run. Well, we haven't gone that far because we lost to Derby. <laughs> uh, no, confidence is a good thing. Uh, I'd love to make Todd Kane a permanent member, but we might have to wait until next season. Well, we're going to have to wait until next season because God, transfer embargo can't buy anybody. Burke's back. Warburton unhappy with Becky's loan spell. Well, it's because he's shit. Might have something to do with it. Um, assertive. Uh, have you watched Becky this season? I'm not sure he's just... Yep. I accept that you've made your judgement on the play and don't feel he deserves what he does. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. He was more understanding than the previous Norwich manager, wasn't he? The other guy gave me a piece of his mind. About giving him a piece of my fist. Charlton Brentford next. That's a big relegation one, actually. And it ends 1 1. Typical. 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 We'll play one more. We'll play one more, then we'll end it. We'll play the game against Bolton at home. And then we'll uh, we'll end between now and the game against Bournemouth. Because Mans needs to go and play Tanny. Probably lose for the career, online career mode. Uh, everybody knows we have to keep it up. Uh, not pulled it for the... You sound like you're worried about the strength of your position. How important do you think team spirit? They're all happy to join their football. Uh, first versus eighth. We'll show gaming how good we are. Ooh. Feisty words in the press from the manager. Feisty words indeed. Oh, yeah, I can't stream the game against Chani, I'm afraid, because it's um, it's for, it's for um, it's for the, the YouTube series. Ugh. It's for the YouTube series. <laughs> We've not actually been playing that good football today, have we? Two defeats, two wins, two draws, and hopefully two wins to finish off. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Time will tell. Uh, 
Danny Danny Fox, Danny Fox, Danny Fox, Danny Danny Fox. Danny Fox, Danny Danny Fox, Henry Lansbury, David Vaughan. Do, 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 do. You know what? We'll give Ben Osborne another go out wide. If he's really going to be that good. I feel harsh dropping him. So we'll put Chris Cohen, Michael Mancien and Luke Garbutt on the bench. So what is Chris Burke? Uh, Bastion Schultz. And Dexter Blackstock. Go, go, Dexter. Be nice if a Samba Longa could actually get a goal. Why don't you pick up where you left off last time? Come on, boys. I think it's my old club, yeah. Up against my old club, although we're playing them before I managed them. Which is a bit of a mindfuck. Of course, cross saves. I support Cambridge and Chelsea, bro. Cambridge and Chelsea. Yeah, come on, Brit, you're not wrong. Do, do, do. Brit is on the lumber. Score a goal. Oh, I'm gonna drop you. Do, do, do. Come on, Ben. Oh, he's hit the ball. That was close. <laughs> uh, yeah, calmly say we're favourites here to go and give the fans something to cheer for. Leg you! Nine shots so far and only two on target isn't good enough. I need to go and get a win. Oh, Antonio's injured. Not good. Not good. We've got Chris Burke though, so it's fine. Confirm. Yes. Yes. Confirm. Yes. Come on, boys. Win that. He has. Go on, Brit. Go on, Brit. Before his injury and before the African Cup of Nations, he would have banged that tops. never been a pen. A it was outside the area and B's dived. Furious. Fuck off Barry. Look at Skype, okay. What am I looking at on Skype, Joe?
Oh. Oh god, it's fucking 2 0. I like that. I really like that. That's sick, mate. Do 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 Not pleased with that whatsoever. It was our fifth defeat of the season. 14 games to go. And we're 12 points clear at the top. But form has definitely dipped. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't have if we hadn't had that transfer embargo. I don't want to comment on individuals. Hey, but Switch have sacked McCarthy. Oh, God, they're 18th. No wonder they've sacked him. Bloody hell. Right. Schedule. See, we've been in such inconsistent form. We went, we went on a great run here for months, for weeks and weeks. But today, we've just been really inconsistent. Two defeats, three defeats, three wins and two draws. So hopefully when we come back to this on Monday, we'll actually be in some better form and we can actually get a little bit closer to securing Barclays Premier League status. But that's going to bring today's Football Manager stream uh, to a close. But tomorrow, of course, we'll be back with the Twitch career mode and uh, we'll be starting with PSV on FIFA 15. So be sure to come back tomorrow at 8.45pm. Follow the channel already, or follow the channel if you don't already, so that uh, you don't miss out and you'll get an, a, no a notification when um, when I go live. <clears throat> but I've got some YouTube stuff to go and record for, so that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Apologies, it's a little bit shorter, but uh, I will see you tomorrow.